When two simple inequalities are combined into one statement by the words and or or, the result is called a compound inequality. For example, 2x minus 9 is less than 13 and 3x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 2 is a compound inequality. Another compound inequality is x plus 3 is less than 5 or 4x is greater than or equal to 12. Compound inequalities can be solved by taking each part of the inequality and solving it. Then these parts are combined to form the complete solution. In this lesson, you'll learn to solve compound inequalities and understand how to graph their solutions. Let's look at a compound inequality using an AND statement. 8 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 16. This inequality has two inequality symbols around the variable expression 2x plus 4. Since both properties are true, you can rewrite this with AND. 8 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4 and 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 16. Solve each simple inequality separately first. Start with 8 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. Subtract 4 from both sides and you have 4 is less than or equal to 2x. Now divide both sides by 2 to get 2 is less than or equal to x. Now solve the second inequality. 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 16. Subtract 4 from both sides and get 2x is less than or equal to 12. Now divide by 2 to get x is less than or equal to 6. The solution set combines the solutions of both simple inequalities. This solution set is the set of all x such that 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 6. To graph the solution set, you graph the simple inequalities separately first. Here the number line shows 2 is less than or equal to x. And this number line shows x is less than or equal to 6. Notice that solid circles are used because x is also equal to 2 and equal to 6. The solution is where the two graphs overlap. This is also called the intersection of the two graphs. Now let's look at a compound inequality where the two properties represent an OR statement. B minus 4 is greater than 1 or B minus 4 is less than negative 3. First solve each simple inequality separately. Since B minus 4 is greater than 1, you can subtract 4 from both sides and get B is greater than 5. Now solve the other inequality. Since B minus 4 is less than negative 3, you can add 4 to both sides and get b is less than 1. The solution set combines the two and you have the set of all b such that b is greater than 5 or b is less than 1. To graph the solution set, you graph the simple inequalities first. This number line shows b is greater than 5 and this number line shows b is less than 1. Notice that open circles are used because b is not equal to 5 nor is it equal to 1. The solution is both parts of the separate graphs put together. This is also called the union of the two graphs. And you did it. You just solved compound inequalities and graphed the solution sets.